Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the second problem on cash budget. Uh, let's look at the problem. From the following budgeted figures, uh, prepare a cash budget in respect of three months uh, to June 30th, 2019. So in this problem, we are required to prepare a cash budget uh, starting from the month of April uh, until the month of June. So let's look at the table. The first column talks about uh, the months followed by sales, purchases, wages and overheads. Most importantly, let us look at the adjustments. Estimated cash balance as on April 2019 is Rs. 10,000. Now this 10,000 becomes the opening balance uh, in the problem for the month of April. The second adjustment that is materials and overheads are paid during the month following the month of supply. Okay. Now materials are purchases of raw materials. So your creditors are giving you a one month credit period. For example, uh, for the purchases that you have made in the month of March, that is 25,000, you will have to pay it in the month of April. And a similar rule applies to overheads as well. Uh, for the overheads that is being incurred by the company in the month of March, that is 3,400, will be paid in the month of April. Okay, so second half of adjustment number two talks about wages uh, that is being paid in the same month. So for the month of April, the wages is 6,200. So 6,200 will be paid in the month of April itself. Credit items of sales are paid by the end of the month following sales. Uh, it is estimated that one half of sales are paid when due the other half being paid during the next month. So let us understand this particular adjustment. Uh, for example, uh, March month, the sale is 32,000. So 50% of March's sales is being received by the debtors in the month of April. Okay, so there is a cash inflow of 16,000 in the month of April and the other 16,000 will be paid by the debtors in the month of May. Okay. So if you look at the adjustment, it talks about one half of sales are paid when due. So when we are receiving it from the debtors in the following month of sales and the other half being paid in the next month. So March sales being received in the month of April and May. A sales commission of 5% on sales is to be paid within the month following the actual sales. So for example, uh, in the month of March, the sale is 32,000. So 5% commission on 32,000 will be paid in the month of April. Preference share dividend of 10% on capital of rupees 3 lakh is to be paid on May 1st, 2019. So dividends are a part of profits paid to the shareholders. So in this case, the preference shareholders are to be paid by the company that is 10% on 3 lakhs is 30,000. So the company is required to pay that in the month of May, so which will appear uh, in the cash budget for the month of May. Next is plant and machinery to be installed in May at a cost of rupees 10,000 that will be payable on 1st of June 2019. So the company is purchasing a machine uh, that is being installed in the month of May, but the payment will be made in the month of June. All right. So 10% calls on equity share capital of rupees 2 lakh 50,000 are due on 1st of April and 1st of June 2019. So 10% of 2 lakh 50,000 which is 25,000 for April and 25,000 for the month of June will be received from the shareholders. So this is to be treated as a receipt uh, because there is a cash inflow you can see. Okay, so I hope uh, you have understood all the adjustments now let us look at the solution so let's look at the solution uh, this is the format of the cash budget uh, so we'll start with the opening balance okay so in the problem uh, adjustment number one talks about the opening balance uh, so we start with the opening balance that is 10,000 all right and then uh, debtors that is for the credit sales, the amount received by the company, I have done a calculation. Okay, I'll show you the calculation. So you can see the calculation of amount received from debtors. Okay, uh, so the third adjustment talks about uh, the rule that is uh, 
the amount that is being received from the debtors that is half of uh, sales are paid uh, in the next month and after that the following month so if you look at march month sales it is 16000 and uh, february's 14000 is received in the month of april so there is a calculation that i have done for the month of april may and june i would not come back to this table so just take a look at the calculation done okay so it is 30000 36000 and 41000 So it is 30,000, it is 36,000 and it is 41,000. All right. I, I've just shown the calculation for the other months as well because I don't have to go back to that table again. Okay, so next uh, is the capital. If you see uh, that is 10% on equity share capital of rupees 250,000 is due in the month of April 1st. So there is a cash inflow in the form of capital. So 10% on 2,50,000 is 25,000. Okay. So if you look at the total receipts, it is 10,000 plus 30,000 plus 25,000. It is 65,000. All right. So let's uh, look at the payments now. That is the cash outflow. So the first item under the payments would be materials that is purchases of raw materials so the rule uh, says in adjustment number two if you look at adjustment number two it says for the purchases that is being made uh, the amount is being paid in the following month for example the purchases of 25,000 made in the month of March will be paid in the month of April so let us take 25,000 okay next is wages Okay, so wages are paid during the month, adjustment number two. So April month's wages is 6,200. So 6,200 is being paid by the company in the month of April itself. Okay, overheads, the same rule applies, uh, that of materials. It is paid by the company in the following month. So 3,400 is March month's overhead that is being paid in the month of April. So 3,400 is wages. I'm sorry, overheads. Okay, so next is sales commission. Uh, if you look at sales commission, uh, which is 5% on the sales, but it is paid in the month following the actual sales. So 5% of 32,000 is 1600 rupees. So 1600 would be sales commission. So there is no preference dividend because preference dividend would be paid in the month of May. And then there is nothing else uh, for the month of April. So the total payments for the month of April is 36,000. 200 that is 25,000 plus 6,200 plus 3,400 plus 1,600 okay so the closing balance that is total receipts minus total payments that is 65,000 minus 36,200 it is 28,800 okay now this 28,800 becomes the opening balance for the month of April and um, May. Okay. April month's closing balance becomes the opening balance for the month of May. Now let's sales. We have all, I have already shown you the calculation. Now, there is no capital, uh, I mean, there is no calls on shares, that is for the month of May. So the total receipts for the month of May is 64,800. Alright. Okay. So let's look at the payments. Material cost that is April month's purchases of 28,000 would be recorded for the month of May. So 28,000. Okay. Wages 
for the month of May is 6,500 so 6,500 is wages followed by overheads overheads April month's overheads will be paid in the month of May that is 3,600 sales commission that is 5% of sales made in the month of April will be paid in the month of May so 5% of 40,000 is 2,000. Then if you look at the preference share dividend that we have to pay, adjustment number 5. Okay, so 30,000 dividend is paid to the shareholders. Okay, and then plant and machinery, there is nothing that appears for the month of May. So the total payments for the month of May is 70,100. All right, so total receipts minus payments will give me the closing balance. So 64,800 minus 70,100 is minus 5,300. Okay. 5,300 minus. Now this becomes the opening balance of June. That is minus 5,300. Okay. So sales we have already calculated. So there is again, uh, if you look at adjustment number seven, calls on sh equity share capital, that is on 2,50,000, that is 10% is due in the month of June as well. So 25,000 is allocated there. The total of receipts is minus 5,300. Okay plus 41,000 plus 25,000 is 60,700 all right so let's go to the purchases of materials that is for the month of May that is 31,000 will be paid in the month of June 31,000 okay followed by wages current month wages that is uh, the wages of 7,000 Followed by overheads, overheads for the month of May 4300 will appear here in the month of June. Sales commission again for the month of May the sale is 42,000 so 5% commission will be paid in the month of June. So 5% commission on 42,000 is 2100, 2100. Okay, there is no preference dividend that will appear in the month of June. Then if you look at adjustment number 6, plant and machinery are to be installed in the month of May at a cost of rupees 10,000 that will be payable on 1st of June. So this 10,000 we will have to show it in the month of June. Alright, so total payments is... 54,400 so the closing balance is 6,300 okay so this is the solution to the second problem on cash budget thank you so much uh, for listening until I come up with the next video, keep watching our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.